What I'm going to introduce today is uh, the, the, something about the platform that Wikipedia is based on, rather than Wikipedia itself, uh, MediaWiki. Some of the stuff that I'll talk about um, is related to some stuff I did when I was uh, on a project in Cambridge, and I'll say when, when I'm talking about that bit. But I'm now a PhD student at the Open University, uh, working on learning analytics. And if you want to find out more about me, SJG Knight is most of my public profiles. Uh, easy enough to find me. Um, so the key thing I'm going to talk about is open education resources. I'm not going to go into that in huge depth because I'm sure all of you know what, what it is. It's something that um, Wikimedia and the sort of broader related communities are heavily involved in. Um, and MediaWiki is a particularly interesting platform for uh, OER because it has facilities for supporting the various different uh, meanings of open. It isn't just about the content being free, it's about being able to uh, re reuse it across platforms. It's about being able to adapt it and MediaWiki has uh, facilities for versioning. Um, remixing, the ability to transclude sections of text from one article into another and create new articles from those is really interesting, but of course you can also just copy uh, material and edit that. Um, and you know, the principle of open education resources and one of the principles behind uh, Wikipedia is that you are then free to redistribute this stuff. And because the platform's open, that's a very easy thing to do as well. Um, at EduWiki, I forget when it was last year, but last year, uh, one of the things that people were very interested in talking about a reasonable amount was Paradata, where we're interested in, if we take open education resources, if we take the, the units uh, that comprise them, and we look at how they're combined, recombined, um, perhaps some of the user characteristics and things like that. How can we get useful data out of that? So some things will, will just be as simple as, uh, as usage data. Um, so files on commons is a, is a reasonably good example of this sort of thing. Where is this image being used across the, uh, uh, the Wikimedia set? But then also things like metadata, so what sorts of tags are associated with this. That also allows us to look at the collective tags, um, where we've transcluded things into an article. But how are those tags related? What's the sort of big set of the main article and the subparts? Um, we built a, a MediaWiki-based OER reluctant to call it a repository, a website, um, for teacher education and professional development. And it was a deliberate choice to use MediaWiki. It was based on the idea that we wanted these things to be freely available, we wanted people to be able to update it, to add their own content and so on. And indeed it included uh, some user contributions, we commissioned some stuff, and we took a lot of um, previous CC or open government license works the open government license material was particularly interesting because a lot of it was available on um, National Archive websites and actually very difficult to find unless you were prepared to put a lot of time into it. Some of it um, was pretty much lost, so the DVDs that the DFES produced were open government licensed, but nobody has those DVDs. They're not producing the DVDs anymore. Uh, so we took those and we put those up onto to YouTube as well, and things like that. Um, and the basic structure was you'd add a resource and it would have a, a kind of pedagogic rationale. So it might say things like this, this is a lesson that uses group work and that would link to a page that talked about the um, pedagogic justification or explanation of, of group work. And those pages were structured from bits of OGL license, bits of stuff that we'd written ourselves and we kind of cut and paste them together to create structured articles. And another key feature of this was that we wanted teachers to be able to export to PDF so they could print this off. Uh, that was in part because there was a parallel project running on the same website 
um, OER for Schools, which was based in Sub-Saharan Africa, where internet access um, <coughs> was not always as reliable to, to ensure that we could get access there. So having the printing option was very important. Um, so whilst the, whilst the Orbit site was, very, was successful, and certainly I was pleased with some of the things that we managed to do, uh, there were some issues that we encountered along the way. So whilst the PDF uh, through PDF Press is an incredibly useful function, um, much as personally I'd like PDFs to be made illegal, the fact that you can't um, take heading numbers from the wiki markup into the book structure means you can't do things like having chapter headings. Now, that's a fairly trivial thing in some ways, but it's something that actually does make a difference to how educators use these things. And it, it's been flagged as a major issue for us, so we're keen to talk to the community and try and get uh, a group of people who might be able to help address that issue. Um, we had issues with some formatting things as well. Some of those were overcome, some of them not, not so much. And the transclusion of sections, so whilst within media wiki markup, um, the, the ability to transclude sections is very useful and we managed to get that working. When we then wanted to export the pages that we'd created uh, to PDF, we found that actually that, that function didn't work. So we ended up doing a copy-paste job instead. Um, and that copy-paste job was based on this versioning issue, so we created templates that wrapped around text from other pages, um, referring to the sections that they came from, to say adapted from XYZ. So this little structure is adapted from page name, section name, and then the text. Now, that's a sort of messy route, and it doesn't really work if you have non, um, the non-initiated editing the pages. Um, it also has problems because you can't put things like tables into the template in, uh, at the start and the end, for example. Uh, and we also felt that things like reference management, particularly where we're taking this open government license stuff, there was lots of cross-referencing between articles, um, but without a way to structure a sort of citation management tool, except on the page level, um, it was difficult to see what the relation, some of the relationships between pages were. Uh, so that was something else where we thought uh, this might be an area ripe for media wiki development. <coughs> so that's, that's the one side, that's, that was the sort of Cambridge side, and then having moved on to the Open University, I'm now looking at learning analytics far more. And learning analytics, and this is the definition taken from the LAC 11 call for papers, but it's also the definition on the Wikipedia website. Um, I'll leave you to guess which one came first. Um, the measurement, collection, analysis and reporting of data about learners and their context for the purpose of understanding and optimizing learning and the environments in which it occurs. It's very wordy. Um, there we go. Um, so the why? Well, we can capture loads of data across the internet. Wouldn't it be great if we could use that data to support learning? And people have done stuff on various platforms from Facebook, Media, Wiki, uh, Twitter, Google Docs, whatever. Um, and the sorts of data that people have started to look at are things like attendance data, whether on uh, kind of online platforms, so webinars, um, or you know, making records of actual real world things. Um, looking at interactions between people, so looking at messages sent in, in IM or forum contexts. Sometimes actually looking at the content of those rather than just the interaction, but other times it is just the interaction, so kind of social network analysis. Um, you've obviously got things like grades, which are very you know, traditional, that's, that's nice and easy. Uh, so doing quizzes and tests and things like that. Um, and some of that data is things like the user submitted, some of it is trace data, so interactions with the website. So I think the VLE is a really interesting environment where this sort of thing could be taking place. And of course, if users were prepared to link their uh, Wikipedia username to their VLE use, then we could say, actually, you think that you've got the skills that are in this module, but your activity on Wikipedia suggests that maybe this is something that you could refresh, or it could highlight to some 
more experienced users that there are areas that they could develop because they're, they're not areas that they use in their kind of day-to-day -day editing as well. Uh, so there are some nice examples of those. I'll just talk about a couple of them. Uh, Wikitrust is an, a media wiki extension that marks up Wikipedia pages or media wiki pages uh, for the longevity of edits and gives people a kind of trust rating. So it's a useful mechanism for understanding um, how stable the page is. So rather than looking at the individual user, you're looking at page quality. Um, you can obviously take things like edit counts, time spent editing, and size of edit. And there are some interesting differences between those. Uh, there was a paper in February at CSCW on that, that level of analytic. Um, things like collaboration diagrams, so that's what this thing down at the bottom right is. So if we take a particular set of pages, who are the people who interact on those pages? And what, what are they doing? How do they interact? And I guess people are aware of and have seen the, the feedback tool uh, on the bottom of most not all Wikipedia articles. Uh, I forget what the, the, the levels are, but it's a, it's a star rating for the page. Uh, trustworthiness, completeness. Um, sorry? I knew it was being taken off. I wasn't aware it had already been taken off. Okay. Did we lose version 4 as well? Sorry? Did we lose version 4? I thought we were back to version 4 from version 5. So I'm aware that there's some work being done on it. Its, it's primary purpose was editor engagement, so its primary purpose was to try and get more people to edit, and it, it failed at that, um, basically. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have useful learning analytic um, function. Um, and my understanding is that it will be replaced with another version of the tool that, that's supposed to give more targeted feedback. Um, but I know that, yeah, I'm aware there's work going on on that. Uh, the, the, I think there's an interesting thing where some of the tools that the Wikipedia uh, sites are using versus some of the things, some of the extensions uh, available for MediaWiki, there are different functions for those in education, possibly, from those that we might be interested in on, on Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is primarily interested in getting more editors and working out whether we can improve content. Uh, as an educator, you know, I, I care about those things, um, but there are some tools that I can use for different functions as well. Um, and one kind of pathway for combining these things is this sort of idea of uh, learning analytics for paradata, where we've taken sets of data from learners and sets of learners, and we understand something about how resources are used as well, so we can create these kind of personalized pathways uh, through learning units. So rather than having a predefined set of uh, uh, curricula, where we say you do this unit, then this one, then this one. We actually try to have a little bit more nuance to, to how we're using our materials and also how we're directing our students to, uh, to get the most out of those materials and to support each other as well. Um, and this is, of course, particularly interesting in the context of things like uh, MOOCs. Okay, and I think I've got time for a question or two. Yeah, just a couple of questions and cut down time. Which would be <coughs> could this be applied? I'm sure it could, but perhaps the question is how hard would this be to apply to things such as um, the effective learning of general Wikipedia editor? Things like um, not getting DRV, not getting their articles deleted, mm. uh, not getting too many tags, yeah. not getting pulled up as AI, um, to see whether 
to what extent actually just being in the Wikipedia or Wikimedia environment educates them in a way that improves their um, cooperation and you know, ability to work within the culture such as it is? Yeah, I mean, so, so one option there is that you direct users to um, learning resources, either when they join up or as, as something triggers it. So you have some sort of trigger um, that says, mm, send this person to here so that they can learn um, about neutral content, you know, whatever. Um, so yes, it's about working out what, what, what do you want to measure and what do you, what are you valuing um, and how easy is it to get data out of the platform. I think that the, the thing that excites me about MediaWiki is from a very, um, or a relatively non-techy background, which I am, it's relatively easy to get data out of that you can make something of and because it's a fairly lightweight platform. Um, you can get, it's open, it's open. Well, almost all its secrets are there for everyone to see. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, so you could build things into it that would just pull data out. So. Um, so, my research is on the kind of critical evalu evaluation skills um, and things like uh, multiple document processing. So, if we ask students to read various sources around the same topic, how do they deal with that? How do they deal with conflicting views within those? Um, we have a set of tools at the OU that I would like to, to play with uh, in that context. And one idea I have is that it would be really interesting to do a kind of comparison with uh, a media wiki platform as well and see how we can translate some of the stuff from, um, we'll be using something called the Evidence Hub at the OU, into thinking about um, article discussion pages and talk pages and how people interact on those to, to both share their knowledge, uh, so cl collaborative information seeking is part of my interest, um, and engage in evaluation of how they're building knowledge together. So if I may follow up on that, how do you see Wikimedia UK supporting you in doing that? <laughs> what can we do to help you? Can I suggest, because we're running out of time a little bit, that's possibly a discussion tab between the two of you. Um, yeah, yeah. Might be more beneficial. Thank you, Simon. That was fantastic. Um,